Luminar Neo is out, and it is the first version. It's 1.0.1 at the time I'm recording this. People are asking me questions like, hey, where is this feature? Where is that feature? Things that we heard that were coming inside of Luminar Neo. Some of them are there. A lot of it's there. Some of it's not. And that was always part of the plan. Skylum introduced a product knowing that there would be features that were yet to come. And I want to go over some of the things that I think are missing. This is not an exhaustive list. I don't actually have a list in my hand, but there are some features that we know that will be coming in future updates, the same as they did with Luminar AI when that came out. So let's take a tour. We'll compare the two products and show you what's there and what isn't. Hi, my name is William Beam. I am a photographer just like you. I like Luminar, both Luminar AI and Luminar Neo. Let's take a look at both of them, compare what's inside of it, and see if this is something that's worth buying for you. And if you've already bought it, kind of give you an idea of what you may expect still to come. All right, so the user interface is different. You see catalog and edit. If we go back and take a look at Luminar AI, it was catalog, templates, edit, and export. So these features are still there. They're just in a different place. So our export is over here. The templates will show up over here where it says presets. They've changed the name again. So instead of templates, it's presets. If you hear me discuss templates or presets, think of them as meaning the same thing. They can be used interchangeably. A template, a preset. These are basically collections over here that are something they provide. And also you can buy other templates and collections of templates that will enhance your photographs. So if we come down here for essentials, we look at close-ups, you can see that there's a number of different things here and we can just click on one. And this warning comes up if you've already made some other edits. This is something I'd used for a demo about removing dust spots. So let's apply the preset and we'll probably see the dust spots come back. So, and there they are. So what does our before and after look like? We can come down here and just see this is before and this is after this focus preset. So templates, presets, pretty much the same thing. One of the things that uh, was a big promise inside of the marketing for Luminar Neo was the return of layers. Luminar AI was not intended to replace Luminar 4. Luminar 4 had layers, Luminar AI was a different tool. It was considered the entry-level tool for getting into the Luminar family. Luminar Neo is the one that's supposed to be a replacement for Luminar 4. The layers aren't quite there yet, honestly. If I come take a look at this, you see our layers are over here. We can add a layer, and it, by default, it gives you these flares, light leaks, and so forth. And you can load an image in here if you want to. I'm just going to use one of these things because it's here, and it's quick and easy. Once you select a layer, which is identified by this little blue uh, ring around the, the box there, you'll see your layer properties. And you've got a place where you can mask your layer and you can reset if you're done. You have your blend modes. And then you've got these options over here, which basically allow you to flip your layer around, whether horizontally or vertically. And of course you can change your opacity. If we bring this all the way up, this is a somewhat transparent layer, but you can change the opacity of whatever layer you put in here. You can take it all the way down, you can bring it all the way up. You cannot duplicate a layer. I am right clicking and nothing comes up here. There is no menu option for layers over here. One of the complaints I had from someone I know is that layers, he thought, were the same as textures in Luminar AI. So let's take a look at that. So I've got a photo loaded over here. I'm in edit mode. And this brush over here was for local masking. We can click add and go to texture. And then you have the same thing. You can select some of the temp textures. They have a few categories that are here. So flares, we could probably put on much the same kind of thing. And there's a button to get more textures that would take you to a marketplace. You still have your opacity slider. And then you have these advanced settings, which give you the blend modes that we were talking about. Notice that we have in Luminar AI, we have brightness, contrast, saturation, and hue. And you can change the look of these different flares. In this case, the one I chose is Arctic. We have the blend mode, we have the flip horizontal, and we have a place where we can place the texture. If we go back to Luminar Neo, 
we don't have an option to place. We don't have those different sliders that we just saw inside of Luminar AI. So I agree with the person who said that the layers in Luminar Neo actually look sort of like the textures in Luminar AI. And in fact, it's not as much as you had in Luminar AI. I really am looking forward to some improvement on this and I expect that it will come. But right now I want to be able to duplicate a layer. One of the things that you do with layers is selective edits on part of the layer that you're putting on there. The other thing that's missing, there's no way that I can edit all of these layers as a whole. So for example, I may get a composite where I bring in different elements from different photographs and put them all together to create something new. But then I need to edit everything as an entire image so that they all have the same kind of color and tone and effect to it. So if I want to apply contrast universally, if I want to put some kind of filter over everything right now, I cannot do that in layers in Luminar Neo. And that is something that I am hopeful and expecting will come in a future release, but it isn't here right now. What we can do with a layer is we can hide it or we can remove it. So if you don't want to see this, you basically toggle it on or off. You see this little eyeball with a slash through it. That gives you an indication that the layer's there. It's just not visible. If you're used to working in Photoshop, they have the same thing where there's a little eyeball. You can turn the layer on or off from view. So you can show the layer and also you can just remove it if you don't need it anymore. I am a little confused, I would say, by having my layers over here and my tools over there. So this is something, again, I'm used to Photoshop. All of my tools would be over here on the left side and my layers and other tools would be over on this side. I didn't necessarily understand having the choice of putting layers here. And then when I add a layer, again, we'll go back to this one, having my layer properties over here under the tools separate from that layer. It's it's a design choice that it isn't going to stop me from doing anything. It's just a little different than what I'm used to seeing. But this is a different tool. It'll have a different user interface and layout. So I don't think that's a deal breaker. It just threw me off a little bit. Another thing that I don't see are the perspective controls. If I come to crop AI, you can see that we can crop. We have all these choices for alignment and rotating and flipping. Inside of Luminar AI, we had perspective tools and 3D image transform. So if I look at my tools to edit over here, we'll come to composition AI in Luminar Neo. You can see image 3D transform, and you can see these quick things for perspective. So I could click this one button and these columns or towers over here would immediately get straightened out and we'd see something that fixes the perspective. It kind of cuts off the foreground, but that's going to happen in any tool because you're really warping the photograph. So I spoke to someone at Skylum. They are aware, obviously, that this is not in Luminar Neo. It is expected to come in the next update. So I was told that these image 3D transform tools are forthcoming in the next release that's coming out. Most of these tools that we see inside of Luminar AI are in Luminar Neo. There are a few that aren't yet. Augmented Sky is here in Luminar AI. If I switch here to Luminar Neo, we have Sky AI. We don't have Augmented Sky AI. Down at the bottom, you see where we have Professional. We have Super Contrast. We have Color Harmony. What we're missing, though, are a few things that are in Luminar AI. If we come down here, Optics have moved. There, I'll show you that in a different spot on Luminar Neo. Super Contrast, Color Harmony, Dodge and Burn, and Clone. I'm particularly looking for Dodge and Burn and Clone. And if we come back over here, we have our Super Contrast and Color Harmony. We actually have up in the Develop area in Luminar Neo, this is where we have our Optic. So we have these options over here. So that's something that's moved in the user interface rather than missing. Now, all of these things I expect are going to come back and be part of Luminar Neo and more. Remember, one of the things that we were told to look for 
would be a portrait background replacement tool. But I knew at the beginning that was not going to be in the initial release. That's going to be in an update coming along. I know of at least three updates that we'll be getting. So 1.1, 1.2, and 1.3. And I'm not sure when that tool is going to arrive, but I do know it's going to be in one of those tools. And that's the same kind of style that they used inside of Luminar AI. If you use that tool, you might remember that the reflections came later. The portrait uh, tools, like for portrait bokeh or the body AI, those also came later. That is the way Skylum works on releasing its products. So these things are forthcoming. Another thing that is a bit different, we don't have a histogram here. And also importing a catalog from Luminar AI to Luminar Neo is not in place yet. Again, those are things that will be forthcoming. So it's not everything all at once. There will be updates, but I wanted to kind of go over some of the things that are missing right now. So you realize you're not going crazy and you can't find them. Some things have moved, like the optics. Other things are still going to be forthcoming. So the image 3D and the perspective controls, I'm told, are coming out in the next update. I don't know when we're going to see dodge and burn or the clone tool to return and some of the other things that I mentioned. But right now, that's a look at what's inside of Luminar Neo or more likely what's not inside of Luminar Neo and what you can expect to come in future updates. Now, keep in mind, we do still have some of the tools that they promised us and delivered. So under the erase tool, the power lines to remove, the dust spots remove, those work flawlessly. I saw those in a demo update and I did a previous video on them. I'm really happy with those. I, I really love that. Also, we have our relight AI, something that does not exist in Luminar AI. And this tool works as I demonstrated in a previous video as well too. This is one of my favorite new tools. I'm really enjoying Relight AI. So I think there's a lot of possibility and potential here to really work on some photos and create something that wasn't in the capture. And that was the whole idea behind Luminar Neo is to be more creative rather than simply enhancing what was already there. Don't have any dates. I can't tell you when the updates are coming and when these features are gonna be coming back in line. I just am told that they are. So as soon as they come out, I will share that with you. And I hope this helps you out. Thank you so much for spending a little time for me today. If you have questions, please let me know where I can. I will pass those along to Skylab and see if I can find some answers for you. If you like this video, please go ahead, click the like button. That lets the YouTube overlords know if I've done something right. They'll share this with more people and hopefully it will help them understand what's going on with Luminar Neo. Thank you. I'll see you again in the next video.